they having the best conversation of their life like they just like like y'all just met y'all just met like that's like the girl code like exes is off limits she was like well he invited me to his house and shit like that i'm like oh so you just invite anybody to your house prank was enough then he invite you over to his house yeah in the bed together like now i'm two seconds away from punching somebody in their face what's your youtube it's jayla monet and i'm back with another video okay i'm back with a story time i know y'all be eating the story time the fuck up okay so i'm back with another story time right now we got another car video I kind of like the car little story times or whatever because i literally live in my car like i love just sitting in my car honestly so yeah um y'all seen the title y'all already know what's going down like another miami story time i can't like i can't get enough like when i tell y'all and i'm saying this i know i play around a lot but i'm not playing when i say this like i really feel like miami's cursed every time i go there i just like it's just some bullshit like every single time like every single time it never fails so this is gonna be the time my cousin had SCX with my freaking ex-boyfriend, y'all. And y'all probably like, yeah, yeah, she did, he did, she did, they both did, okay? But without further ado, before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, have your post notifications turned on so y'all do not miss an upload from me. And that's on um, period. Oh, hold on, my mother is calling me. So I'm trying to be more consistent and I've been doing pretty good these past this past week I feel like I've been doing pretty 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 good but y'all know it'd be hard because I'm also a lash tech I'm not just a youtuber so I'll be trying to balance everything but like I'm working on it I'm working on it. I'm working on it see I just chill off me chill off me I look a mess right now if y'all was wondering this is my natural hair I don't show my hair a lot but your girl got inches like <laughs> I'm not one of them don't play with me don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it okay and yeah so okay so yeah we're just gonna jump straight into the video so i'm gonna start from the beginning of the trip and everything like going there and shit like that okay so this is a cousin like i'm not too 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 close with like this is more like okay we talk here and there but honestly y'all i don't really talk to my family like that but like we talk enough to where she still kind of knows what's going on with my life we just don't talk like she's not a close cousin like my i would like i wouldn't call her like that you know how people be like oh like that's my best friend like my cousin really my best friend i'm not like that like with really none of my cousins like i really don't talk to my family like that so you know but um yeah so basically i told her i was going or whatever and we have a mutual like she's cool with one of my other friends too so she was like she'll come down with him type shit i'm like okay cool like i still invited her like because we're that like we're that type of cousin like i can travel and shit with her and stuff like that so um i go with my other friends though so we all plan on staying in this whole bnb together and everything like that but keep in mind she wasn't coming the same day i was she was coming like two days after so she was coming like two days after so me and my other friends we had to miami or whatever we had the bnb and shit like that my ex hit me up because he lives down there yeah don't ask me don't ask just don't ask <laughs> just don't ask I, I have an ex who live in my area okay so yeah this was rolling loud weekend everybody and their mother was down there but we're like the type like we're still cool so he was hitting me up and shit like that like we're cool like literally like it's really not beef with none of my exes because why would y'all want to beef with me like i'm really a cool ass like and i'm the type like we could break up and like you'll really be the homie like you know you'll really be the homie like you feel me whatever so that's kind of how like our relationship was so basically um keep in mind my cousin's not here yet so this is like the first day like we all chilling i know we going to the strip y'all know we getting drunk and all of that shit or whatever so my ex hit me up like oh let's link like i could come by y'all and shit like that i'm like sure like so he was basically just like oh like can i come chill with y'all and shit i'm like okay so he comes or whatever of course like he my ex but of course he's still gonna flirt and shit with me like i mean look at me like no, I'm playing. But of course, he gonna be flirting with me and shit. So he was flirting with me. I guess you could say I was flirting back, whatever, like, whatever. Like, you know, it was y'all some chill shit, though. Like, nothing crazy. Like, we wasn't kissing or anything like that. Just little flirting here and there or whatever. So it was only a little bit of me and my friends at the time. So he was like, oh, this it? Like, it's just y'all? I'm like, no. Like, my cousin coming, her friend coming and shit, all of that. So he's like, all right, but because, okay. So he do YouTube. So he's like, oh, that's good. Like, I can film with all of y'all when they come and shit like that. I'm like, sure. Like, I don't care like cool or whatever so forget all of that that's just a little backstory oh yeah that's just a little backstory so now the next day my cousin come right she comes or whatever 
Um, we were out when she came, but we had to go back in to let her in because she ain't have a key to the B&B. &B. So we went back and let her in. Hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. Like like that, you know. Hey, cousin. So yeah, so her and her friend came. Her friend was cool as hell. Now, prior to that, me and my ex already um, said we was going to link that day. Like, you know, he's come chill. We was all going to go out, ride scooters and all of that shit or whatever. So I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm like, okay. I told my um, cousin that he was coming just so she knew, like, she wasn't going to be, like, around, like, a bunch of randoms. Like, I wanted to let her know who she was going to be around with type shit because you know vice versa if it was like that i would want her to let me know who i'm around and shit like that you know came or whatever he came with some of his friends so now it's just mad people in the bnb bro now it's just literally mad people in the bnb so i'm just like bro like okay this is a lot this is a lot whatever though i didn't say nothing so i remember i told you how he did youtube right so he decides to pull a prank on me flirting with her cousin and shit so i didn't know about the prank so i'm over here like what the is going on y'all i'm just like bro like what are you doing regardless if we're together or not like shawty like that's mad disrespectful like what are you doing like what are you doing so that was that they told me it was a prank and shit like that but like cool it's a prank but like bro like she was all up on him and everything like that like what the hell is you doing and it's the fact like bro she knows this is my ex like she knows this is my ex for a proven fact this girl knows this is my ex so it was just like what are you doing like if you're gonna be anything be for real because she was not being for real like you know what i text out like your ass is not just vibing they was not just vibing like at all like at all so the prank happened cool i'm like okay whatever like it's just a prank we're all youtubers okay it's just a prank cool 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 cool, cool, cool. whatever so we all like oh let's ride scooters let's ride scooters and shit like that i'm like okay shit that's lit i love riding scooters especially in miami and keep in mind my friends ben was peeping like the vibe like i don't know it was giving like she wanted him type shit and i'm just like i didn't think she because i didn't think she would because like that's my cousin at the end of the day she know that's my ex so we all riding scooters and shit like that why my cousin gonna get on a scooter with my ex and it was literally riding around and shit like that at this point i'm like am i being pranked like these scooters fit one person like what y'all scooter are heavy as hell like what the f like get your own scooter like i don't know if it's someone didn't want to pay for like i don't know what the hell's going on but it's like shawty like get your own scooter like what are you doing like bro like at this point i'm kind of getting aggravated because like at the end of the day you know this is my ex so like, it's just like you're doing a lot like they're both doing a lot and i'm not even putting the blame completely on her because a nigga a nigga just gonna be a nigga like a nigga gonna do whatever but it's just like and the fact you was just flirting with me now you acting weird with my cousin bro i'm just like this whole time y'all like i'm just like okay this is a prank this is a prank like they're not dead ass they're not dead ass they're not dead ass like i'm really like this is a prank this is a prank whatever cool so they were i'm just riding my little scooter acting like whatever like y'all weird just riding my little scooter at this point like i'm not even really talking to my cousin for real especially like after the prank i wasn't really talking to her for real she was more with her friend and shit like that so i'm just like cool like whatever like so we riding the scooters and shit like that like i'm thinking maybe they was just on the same scooter because he taking her to her scooter because you got to find the scooters and shit and it's an hour in they still on the same scooter and at this point we done passed some mad scooters laying down so it's giving y'all just want to ride each other on a scooter like the fuck you was not on no motorcycle like you're on a scooter like tighten up like what are you doing bro like I, they really thought that they were doing something like i'm just like bro this is a joke and literally all my friends peeped it they like what the fuck? like that's weird and i'm just trying to brush it off i'm like bro whatever like it's nothing they just on the scooter or whatever but my friends is like bro like she wildin she wildin i'm just like nah because i'm like this is like she's not gonna do nothing like this is my cousin like you know they just riding the scooter friends cool happy they getting along but my friends are just like they was not having that shit y'all like they was not having that shit so so now we get off the scooters basically and we all going back inside and shit like that and i'm noticing what you call it um i noticed that he i can wear towards me like i was say shit to him and he i can wear towards me like i did not do shit to you like why are you acting like that towards me so i'm just like okay like now y'all both being weird or whatever i'm still not really talking to my cousin like that because i'm just like yeah like now y'all just lost some weird timing like I don't understand why people be being weird to me, like, me. We all get upstairs, we at the B&B, we all chilling and shit like that. They having the best conversation of their life, like, they just, like, like, y'all just met. Y'all just met, like, 
y'all just met <laughs> like so they're literally having the conversation of their life y'all so we just all chilling and literally now his friends are starting to peep it too because everybody know like me and this boy used to talk so even his friends is looking weird like what is going on like y'all this whole time i'm literally thinking i'm being pranked like i'm literally thinking like this is an ongoing prank like i'm not even taking it serious at this point i'm like yo like y'all bugger like i'm really thinking this is a prank while everybody's telling me like that's weird i'm like nah like i'm being pranked i'm being pranked i'm being pranked mm. so i peep my the house it was big but every room was on the same floor but it was still big so i peeped them would duck off like they went to a room together now i'm just like okay like i'm really being pranked because what the hell is y'all doing like i'm really being pranked bro like it's no way like it ain't no way bro it's no way like y'all not both about to sit here and play my face so i'm just like i'm over here shaking bad as hell y'all it don't matter if this my ex or not to me it's a respect thing like girl like that's like the girl code like exes is off limits like i don't know how it works for niggas but like that's a girl code exes is off limits you feel me so i'm just like they're in the room together now and my legs shaking like my friend like bro chill 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 because they know how i get y'all when i'm mad it's it's no stopping me like when i'm mad it's no stopping me and now i'm getting to the point where i'm about to be pissed like you're my whole ex and i let you come here and chill with us and now you're being weird like you're not even with everybody y'all both ducking off so i'm just like what am i like i'm like what so they in a room and shit like that right my ex basically we're gonna give him a name i'm tired of saying my ex we're gonna call him um chocolate okay we're gonna call him chocolate so chocolate comes out the room right my cousin is still in the room so i go into the room when he leaves right i'm like like what's going on like he's trying to talk to me and keep in mind before i even go in the room my friend's trying to stop me and she said don't go don't go because they know how i get y'all like bro and it takes so much for me to get angry but they was trying me that whole night y'all like they was trying me that whole night so i go in the room and i'm so calm like i'm being calm because this is my cousin at the end of the day like i'm not about to be arguing and something like this is my cousin like this is family at the end of the day you feel me so i'm like um what's like what's going on with y'all like are y'all playing and shit like that this girl is gonna have the nerve to say to me that's your piece if y'all don't know what that's your piece me i mean like you fuck with him like i'm like no but you know that that's my ex like that's weird like she bro this girl is so delusional so at this point she's just looking at me just stupid like and i'm like you're dead ass like you know that this is my ex or whatever she's just like well y'all are not together y'all not together it don't matter like it don't matter like bro it don't matter like what the hell like so i'm just looking at her like she's slow like i'm like she's not serious like i'm like okay i'm still being prayed i'm still being prayed okay so my um chocolate comes in the room right he sees me talking to her and i guess he was standing by the door seeing what i was asking her and shit like that so she's basically like what you call it he basically said like bro like chill like what are you doing like making it seem like i'm bugging like if this is a random girl okay cool but this is my cousin like i have some respect like what the what the hell is wrong with y'all so he's making it seem like i'm bugging he's like bro like chill like you doing a lot you doing a lot you doing a lot i was doing a little bit but i could have did a lot and that's the gag i really could have did a whole bunch first of all i could have kicked y'all out you and your friends y'all because even after that bro yeah even after that they ended up staying the night bro and i'm gonna get into that so he's like bro like you're doing a lot you're doing a lot you're doing a lot i wasn't doing enough i wasn't doing enough because i really like well i should have put my hands on him i should have slapped the shit out of him like i really should have slapped the shit out of him whatever so i just leave the room i'm like whatever bro like oh my god yeah she told me um when i was talking to her too this is the part i think he heard when he came in talking about you doing a lot she had she was like well he invited me to his house and shit like that i'm like oh so you just invite anybody to your house you just met this girl you invite her to your house like you really invite anybody to your house it was given like he just wanted a quick f-u-c-k and that's just what niggas do like that's just what niggas do like I can like I can't can I even be mad? A nigga gonna be a nigga. Like if a roach had legs, a nigga would fuck a roach. Like I'm convinced. Like a nigga will fuck anything with a a coochie. Okay? A nigga will fuck anything with a coochie. So she was like, I'm just like, oh hell no. But I didn't say that to him when he came in the room. After that, um he went back in after he said I was bugging and shit like that. Then came back out and I took him to the side. 
I'm like, bro, like, you invited us to your house? Like, what type of timing are you on? Like, you're weird as hell. Like, what the fuck? They just like, bro, bro, you was just flirting with some nigga the other night, all of that. Bro, this is my cousin. Like, this is not just some random girl off the streets. Like, this is my cousin. And he's just trying so hard to justify it. Everybody's trying to make me seem like I'm crazy. He brought his friends there. His friends was arguing with me. Now, at this point, now I'm getting mad. Like, now I'm two seconds away from punching somebody in their face. Like, y'all, like, I was really getting pissed off, like. Like, bro like and it takes so much no oh, excuse me it takes so much for me to really get mad but when i get mad like it's world war three like so now i'm like bro like y'all bugging y'all bugging like y'all are bugging so he's talking to me now just trying to calm me down and shit like that i'm like bro you're mad weird so whatever um i forgot how everything ended up calming down but it ended up calming down and shit like that and even when we was out there talking i'm like bro like this is a prank he's like no like this is not a break like you know how dumb i felt like i told his friend like this is a prank this is a prank i'm thinking the friend in on it too he's like no like what like what are you talking about like y'all like i never looked so stupid in my life like i never looked so stupid in my life so basically everything calmed down after that my cousin was just in a room by herself now at this point she was being mad scary she ain't even want to come out the room so now she just in a room she was in that room that whole night bro she was in that room that whole night so i'm confused how you're gonna invite this girl to your house but you and your friends all end up sleeping at our bnb uh, keeping my all the beds was taken we had no more beds bro one of them was sleeping on a couch. One slept on the freaking dining room floor. One slept on one of our beds. So me and my friend was up that whole night because we had nowhere to sleep. We had nowhere to sleep, y'all. Like, and bro, that just shows how nice I am because I really could have kicked all their asses out. But I was trying to be nice. Like, I don't know if they just didn't want to get an Uber back and shit like that. But I'm just like, bro, like that just shows how nice i am because you straight disrespecting me in my face and i still let you and all your friends stay at our bnb like are you crazy like why and that's why i'm so happy i'm not i'm sorry if i keep looking this mad people coming and like i'm people need to be thankful that i'm not the person that i am now then because then all my people walk all over me and shit like that now i wish you would try that shit like i'm not i don't even give it up like that no more like i don't even be playing with people like the second somebody trying to play with my face is over so i'm just like bro like <laughs> my life is a joke like i'm still being mad nice to these niggas after they was all acting weird as hell so now it's the morning him and all his friends all wake up and shit like that yeah they literally wake up and leave didn't say bye didn't say nothing and one of his friends was being mad rude to my other friend who was there because he was gay right so when my friend had came in from rolling loud he tried like dapping him up like you know how niggas be dapping each other up my chocolate's friend is just looking at him like ill type shit and i did not fuck with that even after that i still let y'all stay so it's like they was all playing disrespect that whole night bro they was all playing disrespect that whole night so they get up in the morning and literally don't say shit they just get up and just basically order they uber and leave bro and i texted him i'm like y'all could at least say bye oh it was the morning everybody in our face like we ain't feel like saying nothing what bro like people really don't have common courtesy because like it's just like what the hell is wrong with y'all like i never met no weird ass people like that in my life talking about oh we all in your face yeah because we wondering what is y'all getting up and leaving like what the hell I hate when people do something wrong and then try to make it seem like you're the one bugging like when i tell y'all that is my biggest 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 pet peeve like i freaking hate that with a passion bro so i'm just like all right like you weird or whatever at this point my cousin already know what type of time i'm on she's not even saying shit to me like we're not talking at all like and keep in mind she left before me too she came after me and was leaving before me so she didn't stay in miami that long so the little bit of time you did stay you don't ruin my life like i'm playing she ain't ruined my life but like the little bit of two days that you were there you did all of that like it's it was mad other niggas he had mad other friends but you had to go for my ex the prank was enough then he invite you over to his house yeah in the bed together like i'm just like bro like this ain't real life like my cousin leaves or whatever and when she left i decided to you know be mature and i text her i like i'm like yo like i didn't like what you were doing like that was mad weird that you know that that's my ex and like that's weird like basically saying like that she was like honestly jayla i don't see no wrong in that i wish i still had the messages but she pissed me off so much i just deleted her whole thread she's blocked now by the way like i don't even talk to her so I, that's why i don't even have the messages to show you i'm so mad because bro i can't even remember word for word but she was bugging so she's just like Jayla honestly 
like i really don't care what you're saying like that's your ex at the end of the day if you talk to any of my exes i wouldn't have cared because you'll be in mean meaningless ass relationships that's why you don't care like the hell all your exes you just have sex with them and leave that's why you don't care i'm i don't i don't get like that so we're just like okay girl whatever so she was just basically saying it's nothing wrong in what she was doing and that he was coming on to her and shit she was like that's your ex but he coming on to me okay all right oh there's some coming out i look like okay okay it's, about, it's like 4 20 so it's starting to get a little dark so the sun's starting to set i don't even think i responded to her after that i really think i just blocked her so i'm still in miami though keep in mind so i go over to chocolate's house right i go over to chocolate's house just to talk about and shit like i'm not sorry what type of time are you on because at this point we're exes but we still kind of like still still was like fake talking so it's just like i just called him my ex because like, you're my ex at the end of the day and i'm single but we still know what it is type of thing that was kind of the relationship that me and him had so it's just like i go by his house and shit like that and i'm just like bro like you invited her to your house all of that he didn't try and be like bro like i was just talking i really i really wasn't gonna let her come blah 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 and i'm just like no like you was literally just trying to f-u-c-k you was just really just trying to have sex it was giving you were just horny as hell like and then i'm telling i'm trying to explain to him like it's just like it's a respect thing like cool we're both single we can do what we want but do that shit with somebody else like my cousin like this is blood at the end of the day and that shit was mad weird like because i look at shit like now okay imagine i had sex she done got pregnant now my cousin is pregnant with my ex's baby like how does that look and i feel like that's my problem my inner life shit too deep but it was just like bro so like literally he's the type though talking to him really solves nothing like it always be a dead end like talking to his ass really be pointless so he just sees nothing wrong and nothing and y'all can let me know in the comments your opinions y'all know i'm all over for the opinions let me know if i'm bugging or anything but like i'm just like okay like what the hell y'all probably like you really cut your cousin off over a nigga that wasn't yours i that let's get it clear okay i didn't cut her off over a nigga i cut her off over respect okay that's a huge difference i'm never fighting over a nigga i'm never doing none of that the only thing i will be fighting over is respect okay if i respect you i expect to be i expect to have the same respect in return and people don't understand that people don't understand loyalty these days and all of that so yeah she will continue to be blocked because i really don't play that shit like and we wasn't too too close to begin with yeah we family but like that's the problem too family could turn on you quicker than friends like that's why i literally don't play nobody close like i trust everybody give everybody the benefit of the doubt so they give me a reason not to and she's giving a re and she's giving me a reason not to like and there was just always some bullshit like and she always did little shit but i just looked over it so i feel like that those are signs like mm -mm, jayla like even when we was in when i brought her around my friends and shit she always just tried to act different like she always just tried to like just act different and shit like that so it's just like you're weird like yeah she's pregnant now and everything like i wish her the best like you know i hope she's good but like yeah we don't talk i might buy the baby something but like we really don't talk at all and it's sad that it was over that but it's like okay cool maybe i'll get over it eventually because i don't even talk to that boy or nothing no more like now he's fully cut off but it's just like like I said, it's really just a respect thing for me. Like, I don't play that shit, like, at all. Like, get somebody else to do it, because it won't be me. But, yeah, so, this is another one of my freaking horror trip Miami story times. Because I got a bunch. Like, I need, I have a threat. I have a playlist for story times. But I really think I should just make a playlist for straight Miami story times. Have that separate from, like, a regular story time playlist. Because that should be funny. But if y'all didn't watch all my other Miami story times, definitely go watch them. Because your girl was going through it. That's why I'm not going to for spring break this year or nothing. Like, I'm really, like, Miami, like, I don't know. It's something. I love it so much. Like, the energy and just the place. But I feel like it's like God. God don't want me there. Like, every time I'm there, something bad happens. Like, God does not want me there. Like, the last time I was there, these weird ass people hit my phone um what other, what else happened um i basically got set up one time me and my best friend at the time almost fall like miami is literally freaking cursed for me like i hate it i hate it and i used to want to live there and everything god made sure i don't want to move there no more like i don't even want to step foot in miami i don't even want to look at miami like i don't even want, i hate even saying the word miami like it's that bad y'all it's literally that bad 
but yeah so that was it for the story time i hope you guys did enjoy it let me know any other story times that you guys do want to see for me because yeah i'd be down like i'm definitely gonna do like a whole miami story time thread though i feel like that'll be fire because i got stories for days okay one thing about me i'm gonna have stories for days like you feel me see my hoodie let me show you my hoodie yeah it says high visions design district okay wait oh i'm too big for this okay y'all see the front it says high visions yeah high vision district and yeah this is my girlfriend's brand so definitely go and shop high visions up here on instagram i'm gonna put her ad here on the screen so you guys can go shop and all that good shit but yeah i'm gonna see you guys later make sure you guys are subscribed to me have your post notifications so you guys do not miss a post and yeah that's on um, period i have an ebook coming out soon for all my business owners so that would definitely be in my next couple videos coming up i'll be giving you guys a link to that i'll probably give you guys a certain discount for my subscribers woohoo and yeah i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm probably gonna film like a drive with me today because right now i'm doing my laundry i'm parked at the laundry mat i'm just waiting for my clothes to get out the dryer then i have a client at 5 30 and it's 4 26 so i actually do gotta hurry up and yeah let me see was that is there anything else i want to say but yeah literally um a few lessons i want you to take from this watch you call your family members if someone's your ex leave them as your ex don't still try to be cool with them because it won't work out i shouldn't have even been surprised that he was trying to talk to her she was trying to talk to him vice versa because i already know how he get like he wasn't shit anyway so it was just like hey like i said don't fight with nobody over a nigga fight over your respect but don't be fighting at all but y'all know what i'm saying but yeah i'm gonna see you guys later love you guys